This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Want to start playing competitively? It's very easy to do so with instant email delivery with the codes and they have a huge variety of codes up on their website, reaching from league battle decks, uh, specific promo codes, or even the latest booster packs in town. So definitely check out PoTownStore.com and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. How wonderful is that? Also check out CardMarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every day. If you're a European player, you're obligated to check out the link in the description below. We're gonna be able to check out Card Market and you can buy cards and sell cards to people all across Europe. So definitely do so. You're gonna be helping me out a ton. So definitely enjoy this video and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. What's up, YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here, and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel today. We are the Omnipoke Online Play League uh, number 18. We're up against Celio's network. Uh, Luke is a very nice person, and he actually grew uh, his channel quite a little bit uh, since this year. So, we're gonna be challenging him right away. So, uh, let's just go. We're gonna be challenging him with Eternatus straight from the bat. Let's just do that. So, uh, Eternatus with the poison shenanigans. I do love the poison shenanigans in here. So uh, that actually means that we actually have an out against specific archetypes like uh, the Sejuai if they're not playing the Aromatic Grass energy, which is nice. I, I wonder, <laughs> yeah, he's saying, uh, ready, I'm good to send the challenge. Ready, let's do this, Luke, you ready? Okay, so uh, we have Eternatus. Uh, also, I'm going to be uh, rocking it out with Blounds. On my third deck, I think it will be Math Party or ADP, depending on how the first couple of matches go. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, we're waiting for the opponent to load the game. Luke Morso from uh, Celio's network is our opponent. I'm very excited to be playing against him. We lost the coin flip, so uh, we'll see what uh, he is gonna do. Go first, go second. It all depends uh, which deck he's playing. If he's playing a Welder deck, he's probably gonna go second. Okay, we can go first. Well, thank you. And uh, we start off with none other than a Crow Gunk. We have Capture Energy as well. This is actually not a bad hand. Uh, actually, gonna scout out with Great Catcher what we have first, and then. Uh, yeah, what we have with Great Catcher will turn itself into an Eternatus for sure. Okay, let's go. We have Great uh, Ball, finding ourselves. Yeah, there's a lot of things we can uh, choose here. Crazy, crazy for sure. So let's get ourselves the Galarian Slowbro V, and we're gonna turn that little fella into an Eternatus straight from the bat. So we have Eternatus 3 uh, in there, 2 Eternatus V Max, 7 energies in total still left in deck, 2 bosses orders and a great catcher that's the great catcher is a nice include here for sure so we're gonna go with capture energy finding ourselves a galarian do we go with galarian slow bro v or do we go with another crow gunk or any another eternatus it all depends on what we're uh, planning out here i think crow gunk is nice we can just find those galarian slow bro v's later down the line so let's get this one go with crow bat drawing some more cards we have a switch card we have yeah this is actually not bad yeah, he can knock out the uh, Crow Gunk if he wants to. He can go for Energy Acceleration and then attack with the Bolton. If he wants to go for Chapu Coco Prism Star, he can go for uh, Bolt Storm instantly for 70 damage. But I don't think that's uh, something he's gonna do. He's probably gonna go for Electrify. We also need to hang on to our Switch card, to be honest, because yeah, he's probably gonna paralyze our Eternus V Max. So we need to dig deeply into the deck. I do know that we're running a lot of Switch cards in our list, which is nice. We also want to be uh, improving our game state by uh, maybe using Switch for Galarian Slow Row V at one point. We'll see. Yeah, we don't need to hit for too much damage because this guy only has 200 HP and we are slapping 30 damage for every one of our darkness types. That means, yeah, this is also pretty annoying, the big charm. He also has, okay, there's a Marnie. That's too bad. We did have an energy in hand. We did have a Switch research as well so i wonder what the marnie will bring marnie has a uh, marnie for himself okay fine a touch of turn eternatus marnie hope for a crowbat hope for a galarian slow bro v and a dark city that's not a lot to ask for <laughs> okay dark city not an option anymore thanks to chaotic well and there is an electrify immediately going from uh, the opponent so uh luke going for electrify onto mew 2 okay let's go great ball finding ourselves toxic croak interesting so we have toxic croak we have a touch of turn here. Eternatus VMAX in the house. We can increase our bench to eight slots now, so we can Marnie the opponent as well. So Marnie after Marnie, this is how it goes. Interesting. 
We have Hiding Dark Energy, which could be a nice retreat option. Let's go with this, then go for Quick Ball. I'm gonna save that Dark City for now. We're actually gonna go for Crobat. And let's go. Drawing more cards, four cards in total. And uh, another one of these is nice. We don't have the uh, attack going right now, but we could, however, uh, retreat with Hiding Dark Energy, go for Crobat, hopefully get ourselves a great catcher from a Research or something and go from there. Also, he can actually attach to Bolton and knock us out. So we need to hang on to our switch cards. We haven't played any switch cards just yet, which is nice. His Chaotic Swell seems to be gone. We money them to a low hand size. We'll see how it goes. Okay, Mute was back in the house. Maybe another Electrify. So he can go for like uh, Tag Ball GX at one point. Okay, there's the Quick Ball. Getting rid of Picaram so he can uh, full Blitz. I wonder if we're gonna get a huge one head KO. We need to find ourselves. Um, None other than Galarian Slowbro V. Hopefully that will be the case, as well as a switch card. So it's going to be hefty for sure. I wonder if he's gonna have another Chaotic Swell ready. Like most of these uh, Picaram lists do play two copies. Okay, Mewtwo, okay, there's even a boss play onto Eternus V Max. That's crazy. Okay, we do have Dark City. So yeah, the only thing we need is like a switch card ASAP. Well, or maybe knocking out this Mewtwo. We'll see how it goes. Okay, first things first, this one. Hoopa. Oh boy. Do we attach so we can increase our chance of drawing into Slowbro and a switch? Ooh. I actually want to have like Eternatus as well. Another Eternatus would be amazing. So I think I'm just gonna go for Crobat here, drawing three cards. We do have, oof, this is awesome. Okay, don't have an additional attacker just yet though. Slapping this down. We are gonna go for, okay, this guy is not slapping too much damage. Let's just go for Slowbro V. Yeah, we're gonna poison this guy. Rapid fire poison. So we actually slapped 300, that's not an issue. Do we have alternate attackers? Like, we don't have an alternate attacker, unfortunately. Crobat V. I think I'm just gonna attach here. Yeah, Hoopa could actually lower the HP of certain Pokemon. Hmm, always having a way out. This guy, 130, not gonna be doing the, t the stuff ASAP. Actually, <laughs> I don't know if we should have slapped down that Hoopa, but actually wanted to draw into like the resources necessary. Poisoning opponents with a Crobat, a one prize Pokemon. Yeah, I'm just going to gonna go for the Crobat, doesn't matter. We're gonna go for Marnie, Marnie to low hand size. Okay, we do have another Eternatus for next turn, so hopefully he will not find stuff to just knock that out. Retreat, let's go, Dreadant, bam. Okay, this is scary because we don't have a, a backup attacker. Maybe we should have just attached to uh, the Hoopa, so we could have actually stopped like 90 damage. Could have already helped us out, but our main focus is like knocking out that Mewtwo. And with Marnie to a low hand size, we just hope. And yeah, there's Crushing Hammer. Heads onto the Crobat, okay. How many boss in here? One, okay. Just need to hope he doesn't find boss. He could go for like full Tag Ball GX right now. Ooh, two boss down the drain. That's a huge, that's huge news. Three boss in here. If Eldegos is in its prize cards, we should be good. He could like knock us out with Bolton, but we still have access to uh, a lot of bosses orders, so that should not be a problem. He could go for Electrify, to be honest, but I don't think he's gonna do that. He can Tandem Shock, but that's also not gonna knock us out. I think he has to go for Tag Ball GX here, 200 and KOing us. Yeah, I think that is uh, the play he needs to go. Okay, getting rid of a quick ball. Will he get Eldegos out of the deck? Nope, Tandem Shock Party it is. Okay. This is a, a very interesting game for sure. We do have boss. The problem is like we didn't have like an Eternus with an energy earlier. The good news is we knocked out Mewtwo instantly even with Big Charm, so. Sometimes it goes like that. Switching out to Crobat, Dance of the Ancients. Okay, attaching to these fellas, so lots of energies in play for sure. Is he gonna go for a full blitz? Nope, just a uh, classical Bolton in action. 
Okay. Did play lots of switches already? Only one, okay. Okay. So, first things first, we're gonna be... Oh yeah, we need to discard some Pokemon here. Hmm. Not what we want to see, right? 90 damage is nice. Let's just get rid of the Crobats. Okay. Going for this strategy. So we rapid fire poison. We are gonna go for this. Attach of the turn. He could reset stamp to be honest. So we're gonna hang on to that quick ball just yet. Because we have access to Crobat. Don't know if we should like retreat our Slowbro and just give up give up a Krogunk. This guy is already like 1, 2, 3, 4, that's a huge amount of damage for sure. Huge amount of damage for sure. Okay, we retreat. Go for this guy, I guess. And we're calling it a day. Or do we boss? If we boss right now, he's probably just gonna attack with Bolton, to be honest. But we still have a great catcher in list, so it all comes down to what we draw with Crobat, right? I guess so. Ooh, scary, because we uh, did not have another Eternatus ready, so hopefully he does not, like, boss it. He, we didn't have access to, like, Marty in the first place, but he did get rid of, like, three bosses here, so... Crushing Hammer. Ooh, that's huge. These hammers are going to be costing us uh, quite a little bit of the game. We'll see. Eternatus, that's nice. If we top that Quick Ball, we should be good to go. We did not play the Quick Balls just yet. Switching it over to Crobat. The Danny GX, okay. Either Hammers, Hammers or Boss or Eldegos? I don't know. Don't know if he's uh, playing the Eldegos in his list or not. Probably. If we just can evolve into like Eternus Max right now, it will be nice. He also like switched around with Crobat, so maybe he's like waiting it out. Attachment onto Raichu, Eldegos, having the Boss. Ooh, this is scary. Does he have switch as well? Boss? Switch? Oh yeah, he has... Uh, yeah, he's using my Dark City. That's just geniusly played. Okay. What to do now? Probably has like so many switch outs. That's uh, unreal. <laughs> what to do now? I don't know. Double switch. Yeah, just gotta hope that... Uh, doesn't have a switch out. Rapid fire poison. Yeah, that's just crazy. Yeah, that was well played, like uh, promoting his uh, own Crobat. That was very well played. Wow, okay. Close games. Close games for sure. Okay, it's time. For round two, let's just bring my uh, favorite blown deck into the mix. Could have gone for Santa Scorch as well. Ah, that was so well played, man. That reset stamp really got us. Also, if only we would have not like slapped down that Hoopa and just draw the turn and just went from there. We always like needed to attach, but on the other hand, his crushing hammer could have also landed successfully. So on the other hand, that's just interesting. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay, we have our blown. Let's rock, lock and roll. We have the Dene. Energy Spinner is uh, newly added into the list. Okay, Volcanion. Okay, he's playing uh, Santa Scorch. Interesting, that's like not. That's like a 50 50 matchup depending on how the draws go. It all depends on if he finds like a Santa Scorch early on, if he doesn't brick, if he uh, finds Welder. We also need to find Welder, but 
we are actually not gonna slap down Giant Heart. We're gonna be resorting to like Energy Spinners. So we're actually gonna slap down uh, Kremran V, the Danny GX, go from there. Heatran, okay, that's that's a nice approach because if we knock out the Heatran uh, with Beast Bringer, we take three prize cards here, so that's huge. Yeah, I'm not gonna be wasting my time on Canyon here, so I think I will great catcher this guy. And uh, hopefully we will get a KO on turn one. Should be nice. If we just draw to some energy spinners or giant hearts, should be okay. See what uh, the welder brings. Okay, Santi is getting himself ready. So next turn he already has like 120 damage output. This guy does have a tree retreat cost. He already got rid of a scoop up net and a switch, so maybe we're safe. We'll see. Either we knock out the Heatran or we like, try to slow him down. Okay, that's about it. Fine. Okay. Do we go for the Charizard play? Maybe that's also not a bad idea. He's never gonna be able to one-hit KO us. Yeah, it's also not a bad option. Yeah, let's just take down that Heatran before it does any funky stuff. <laughs> we just need to find a Switch card, should be good. Switch or Scoop Up Net. Just to make sure we do draw into those, I'm actually going to be resorting to our Crobat as well. This one, Crobat time. Okay, there's the scoop up net, awesome. So we scoop this one up, slap that one down, slap this one down. Okay. Welder back on top, slapping down this. Could technically also like, we do have boss already in hand, which is nice. So we can boss the Crobat. So that's actually not the thing I wanted to do, but it's okay. Don't know if he's gonna be playing reset stamp. So let's just stick to our hand for now and go from there. Double blaze, boom. Okay, we have that fire energy. We can just uh, use boss's orders onto Crobat. We can also welder onto Blasophilon with the uh, fire crystal, so should be okay. That great catcher definitely helped us out quite a bit. Oh boy. Yeah, really nice play, because uh, right now he can never KO the Charizard. If he slaps a huge amount of damage, we can knock out the Crobat, or maybe knocking out another Santa Scourge right now is actually not a bad idea. Weldering, only one energy though, so we did not rely on Giant Hearts. Should be nice. Okay, I expected the Reset Stamp. We did put an additional Welder back in, which is nice. Two quick balls down the drain. Already used Crobat. Pokemon communication. Okay, Sent Scorch VMAX will come into town. Mm hmm. I actually want to find bosses orders right now. Or either like we retreat our Charizard and knock him out with like uh, the Cephalon here. Instantly. That is an option because the more energies there in the discard pile, the, the more damage output we have. Mm-hmm, what to do? Yeah, I'm just gonna take this one. Not gonna be weldering. Yeah, we do have Oracorio and all other stuff. I'm actually gonna just take a Jirachi and not get, get rid of it. If we draw into like boss's orders, that would be amazing. It would really be amazing. Yeah, of course we do not. We do have switch. We could switch, but we're not gonna do it. I'm just gonna 
lower the HP from the Santa Scourge down. Damn, 230. He's gonna take three press cards on Charizard, but doesn't matter. We take three press cards on this guy as well. Now, we haven't wasted too many energy, so it shouldn't be a problem to knock out two Santa Scourge VMAX here, unless he relies on another reset stamp. Also, he only slaps 120. I don't, don't see him like, he, he just needs to attach an energy, right? But then he's wasting all of his energies onto one Santa Scourge. This one doesn't seem to be uh, evolved just yet. Quimbo, getting rid of a Welder of all things. That's interesting. The Dene GX. But if he relies on the Dene GX, we have Cremorant, so. That's awesome. Also, now that I think about it, if he doesn't rely on the Danage, yeah, there's the Danage X. That's awesome. We just need to knock out the, the Dene. He's probably gonna have to like welder onto this guy and then attach here. I wonder if he's gonna have energies or not. He slaps down Giant Heart. He cannot slap down Giant Heart or he helps us. Kremrant can also knock this guy out with a snipe. So we have all, our res all of our resources available to... Uh... On the other hand, he cannot like Welder and Boss in the same turn, so we are kind of safe with our Cremorant right now. Okay. Stinking long and hard. Great games, for sure. Okay, GMAX anti No, the Charizard goes down. Okay, we'll see what we top deck. It's Giant Heart, that's nice. So Giant Heart. Attach of turn here. Also, now that I think about it, with Welder and Attach of Turn, he has three energies, right? Three energies. That's gonna be 160. Doesn't knock out the Cremorant. That's crazy. Let's just swap over. Cherish Ball. Yeah, there's still Welders in here. Hopefully we find it. Seven energies, two crystals. He's not gonna knock us out, so I think that's this is six energies, and that is eleven energy. That's still enough to knock out uh, one of these guys, so that's not too shabby. Maximizing our chances to just get ourselves welder. Okay, there we go. <laughs> welder for one. What? Okay, that's so scary. Should have probably waited with the... Ah, uh... oh, that's so bad. That is so bad. How many boss in here? Zero, well, that's too bad. Mm-hmm. Can only welder for one. Yeah, that's that's horrible. That is horrible. Oh boy, how did we with that? How did we with that? We had so many fire crystals left. Oh boy. Maximize chance to find welder, but no energies. If we would have knocked this guy out, we would have been able to uh, just get there. We had a quick ball left. Ah, it's too bad. Yeah, sometimes you have games like these. Yeah, if he just, uh, he already used two welders, so maybe, uh, even though if he just manually attaches, it's also like crazy for the Sense Scorch. If he doesn't boss us, maybe, but. He can definitely, like, if he welders right now, he has the game secured. Eldi goes welder, yeah, that's why I figured. Whoa. -oh. Maybe, like, this is uh, insane. He if, if 
two boss doors could be prized, you never know, but probably already has it in hand. We don't have like damage control going around. Scoop up. Yeah, it's crazy. We do have boss, so if we have welder right now, we can welder into blouse and then boss the Eldigos, which doesn't require us to take rid of like a lot of energies. We bow. Another Danny Jack. Okay, he's digging for bosses or his next turn. Super duper scary. What to do here? Mm hmm. Do we have enough? Two fire crystal. If we knock out this Sensei Scorch, he just welders onto this guy and we get knocked out. Maybe there's two welders prized, you never know, but I'm not gonna take that risk. There's, there could be like two welders prized, you never know. How many switches in here? Only one. One scoop up net, two scoop up net, two switches, two scoop up nets. It has a huge hand size. Hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna take like the chance of getting all the fire crystals in hand. That's like not possible. Oh. On the other hand, like we can boss Crobat. Maybe he doesn't have energies, but he has giant hearts, so he probably has welder. So I think we're gonna have to go with a different route here, unfortunately. Need to find that welder right now. We'll see. It, miracles happen. Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing we can do. Luke wins. 2-0 unfortunately, so we did not even score one point. We were so close of getting like second or first in the league But yeah, look, it's just wonderful played by wonderfully played by him Also like that whiff at one point in our blounds shenanigans Very very sad, but anyhow, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video If you did be sure to most that like button as it helps out the, yeah, the channel more than you would possibly think Go check out our sponsors. Uh, that's of course uh, PokedownStore.com where you can actually uh, get 5% of your uh, next order you can buy League battle deck codes, trainer toolkit codes, Eternatus codes, Mew Mew codes, everything you might want, you can find it there. And also check out our other sponsors, cardmarket.com, where you're able to uh, actually get yourself um, the uh, only uh, thing. And uh, yeah, I'm actually just crazed out by the games, but go check out cardmarket.com. If you're a European player, you can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video very, very shortly. Peace out.